Okay, I am at 1300 East Mallory, which is at the corner of 13th and Mallory. I'm gonna show you the neighboring houses. Most of them look well kept. A couple look pretty large as well. Some pretty trees. The parking lot or the uh, driveway and garage are down past where my silver truck is. You turn in and go up to the back of the house. So that's the drive is actually on uh, 13th. So there are a couple things that caught my eye in the pictures for this one as I've looked at it a lot of times. Um, and one is this great front porch area. Uh, a couple of things out here. I don't know if it'll show up well in the video or not, but uh, you know, some of this looks like it has dozens of coat of paint, coats of paint over the past 120 years and probably could use a fresh coat of paint. There's a crack in the glass for this large front window. Just wraps around. So we'll head inside. So here's kind of the other thing that really catches your eye in the pictures. And that's the really great looking floors and the woodwork in here in the next room. You can see here they've had a leak around this window. You want to check on a day when we've had some rain, make sure nothing was wet, they've got it stopped. But either way, it probably needs a little bit of attention. You've got this room with the fireplace when you first walk in. And I just circled back into this front room that looks out over the porch in the front yard. Got a really nice, beautiful fireplace here too. Uh, nothing really jumps out as far as the condition in this room, but you can see, you know, your typical cracking in the plaster with some repairs that you're going to find in almost any home of this age. So this, right off of the main room, is your master bedroom. Looks like they've repainted a couple spots in the ceiling, that one with some high gloss paint, and it sticks out. Fireplace comes through to here as well. Got a lot more cracking in this room just with the paint. Some of your woodwork. Again, just peeling paint. Peeling paint. decent sized master closet, especially for the age of the home. So this walks through a couple doors out of this room. One of those is into this bathroom. Again, you can see everything could really use a coat of paint. You got a lot of peeling, so there would be some scraping to do. This room looks like probably was not proper ventilation. Um, it doesn't look, you'd want to have it tested. I don't see, like, it doesn't appear to be actual mold growing, but certainly it's had some moisture issues with mildew at least. Neat detail there. 
So this bathroom also has a door out into the hallway. Yeah, you've got some closets here. Carpet that probably needs to be replaced. This walks, this door goes back into the master bedroom off this hallway as well. You got some kind of acoustic tile, ceiling tile in here. The carpet goes through into this bedroom, which as you can see has a larger bad spot that needs repair. Some more cracking. This is just storage space, your washer and dryer's outside. Acoustical ceiling tile goes into here as well. This is uh, what would have been their kitchen table area, their eat-in. And of course this goes back to that front main living area. This is just so pretty. Tile comes into here, you've got more peeling paint, you know, all of it looks like it's getting ready to peel. You can see the house has wood windows. Okay, so this is the back door out to the backyard and we will walk out there, but I'll show you the upstairs. So, stairs are carpeted, they're a little steep. There's a handrail. So, up here, this is kind of what set out to be the living area for this upstairs living space, which is a little tight. The floors are in a little rougher condition, you know, with some scratching that I think will probably show up. But certainly look like they could be refinished to look nice. This would be the upstairs bedroom. Pretty narrow right here, but deep. And you have a few more steps up. to a second kitchen. Lots more colorful tile. You can probably tell, but that's a smaller than standard size stove. Stairs bathroom. And no light in here, but you've got additional floored attic space. Okay, we'll head back down. And outside, I'll show you the backyard laundry area. I don't know if you can tell. Actually, a, a reasonable amount of this upstairs has plenty of overhead. This room here, um, I'm six foot six one, and I've got plenty of room overhead. Um, just a little bit less up there, but I, I did bump my head right there, and the door going into the bathroom is a little low. Both of them. Uh, just kind of grazed my head. Okay, 
you got a detached garage out here. Show you a little bit closer the condition of the wood siding. I don't have a, a lot of rot jumping out. Just needs a fresh coat of paint and everything sealed up before, you know, things start rotting. Very green out here. Got what could be kind of a neat little pond and sitting area around it if you'd like. Okay, this colorful space is the laundry room. Looks like you've probably had a roof leak. Good sized garage, only one garage door, probably about a two car garage wide though. I'm pretty close on this side. Lots of room on the street sides. nice big trees here. Hopefully that gives you a little better picture of 1300 East Mallory. I'll be in touch to answer questions. Thanks.